Welcome back to soccer here from Lincoln High School as we will get ready now for the championship game between the Riverbank Bruins taking on the West Campus Warriors. My name is Thomas Conroy alongside my partner Jason Patterson. We welcome you to soccer action here today and uh, as both teams get prepared to start this game match off we should have an exciting affair here today and Jason uh, a lot of action, a couple of uh, big-time goal scorers here for, for opposing sides facing off one another here today. Uh, yeah, we have a couple of uh, good scorers for both sides of the ball. Uh, for West Campus High School, we have uh, Khalil Kirksey, who is their leading scorer with uh, 11 goals on the season and 11 assists. And then uh, for Riverbank High School, we have uh, Jonathan Rodriguez, who is one of their co-captains. Uh, he's a, a forward and also a midfielder, the senior, coming in with uh, 22 goals scored. So a couple high-scoring goals, uh, or high high go school. Oh, my God, the words are not coming out nicely. Uh, a couple good goal scorers. There we go. See, it's becoming uh, <laughs> almost afternoon time, and the words are starting to come out a little better. So a couple good goal scorers for both sides of the ball. Uh, should be interesting. I believe this is a... Uh, I don't know, what division is this one? Division 2. So this is uh, the Division 2 championship. Division 5. Oh, sorry, Division 5 championship game. So uh, uh, I'm a little interested. This is the game that I actually wanted to see today, seeing as I used to live right around the corner from West Campus High School. So I uh, heard a few of their soccer games in my day uh, living so close. So definitely interested to see if they can't come all the way out here and uh, take a W home for Sacramento area. Yeah, San Joaquin section, it is the number one seed. Uh, coming in is West Campus taking on Riverbank, the number two seed. So both of these teams were expected into this contest here at, at Lincoln High as both teams now take their final preparations before we begin the match. So an anticipated matchup and really one that everybody in the whole section expected to have here at the, uh, the final game of the season. Yeah, uh, Riverbank High School is coming in 18-2-2 uh, two and two overall with a 9-0 and record in league, uh, ranked 42 in the state of California. So uh, they are ready to go as uh, undefeated in league play so far and only two losses on the season with only two ties. Uh, West Camp is coming in with a record of 19-2-2, two and 8-0 two, uh, in league with uh, only two ties in league as well. Uh, sta st state of California ranked 18th and... Uh, National ranked 188, so fairly close in rankings are these two teams. West Campus ranked a little bit higher, but uh, nonetheless, it should be a, a fairly exciting game from both these teams out of the Sac Joaquin section, and uh, we'll see who gets to take home the Division Five championship game here for our noon game here at Lincoln High School in Stockton, California, where we will be covering a total of four championship games for the soccer uh, for the sport of soccer here in the Sac Joaquin section. So uh, if this is your first game that you guys have tuned into, don't forget to stay tuned for the next two games coming here from Stockton, California. And Riverbank getting ready now to start the match as uh, they have won the, the ball, the possession of the first position of the match here on the pitch as Quintero Rodrigo getting ready now to effectively start the match with Oscar Jimenez. Now I want to point out to you guys uh, at home that we do not have any numbers up here for the West Campus High School roster as of this moment. So we do have a, um, a guy on the sidelines trying to receive um, all the numbers and names for everything. So you're going to have to just bear with us here <laughs> through the first couple minutes as we're just going to be calling out numbers for the West Campus High. Uh, West Campus is wearing the white jerseys with the black shorts and the black socks as Riverbank is coming in with the maroon uh, jerseys, white shorts, and maroon socks. So... Uh, Riverbank will be going left to right on your screen as West Campus will be going right to left. Just waiting for the official now to get ready here. As I think he's setting his watch up. And actually, there's a problem with the net on the far side, but on the, just noticing with West Campus, the, the goalkeeper and the uh, official are fixing it. So, so that we isn't have a delay in action. Thank God. We, maybe we get those numbers before the start of the game. Yeah, it looks like. It looks like he's uh, down there currently doing it. Uh, so we have green jerseys here for the referees for this Division 5 game. As uh, the game before the Division 6, the referees were wearing the black jerseys. So a little bit of different feel for the, the, the referees. Uh, makes it a little bit more interesting. I kind of like the green jerseys more <laughs> than the black from earlier. So keep them uh, easier to see on the field. So it looks like Riverbank will take the ball first. Rodrigo now getting ready as he's waiting for the whistle. And here we go. 
Kicked it out back into the in the defensive zone for Riverbank as they're trying to get it ahead, and they move it nicely up on the far side, and it gets def defensively taken away by West Campus out of bounds. So it'll be a free inbounds pass by Riverbank as they get it on the inside. Old maneuvering here, both teams kind of feeling each other out, seeing what time of alignments they have. Nice kick up in the middle there to Imenez. He's trying to get it inside. He's inside the onto the onto his left, and it will be. Too far for the West Campus player to get, so it'll be a free ball going back the other way for Riverbank. The goalkeeper now will take the kick. Rafael Ramirez as he kicks it up and into the middle of the field. Headed back by West Campus into their zone. Trying to move it ahead, but forcibly picked away there by Riverbank. Riverbank now trying to move up the far side, kick it back into the middle of the field. Does Rodrigo, now he kicks it ahead, and that ball will be played by West Campus as they defended it out towards the far sidelines. Headed by a Riverbank player now into the middle of the field. Both teams trying to gain possession as the kick is straight ahead and into the far side, but the West Campus defender trying to take it away, deflects it off of a Riverbank player as and now then another kick by a defender goes out of bounds. Ball goes back to Riverbank. Trying to inbound the ball there is number three, Lopez. As he try he inbounds it to the middle of the field. Now West Campus is getting aggressive now, trying to move it ahead. And they have possession of the ball, but a good tackle there by Pantoya, the defender for Riverbank. Quickly ahead now is West Campus to the middle of the field but defended nicely there by the Bruins as they kick it out of the zone. So a lot of nip and tuck action here for both teams as trying to get it ahead. Now picking it up is Velez, number 20. He kicks it right off the referee as he tried to get it up on the far side of the alignment, the offensive alignment. Nicely played there by West Campus. Ahead now to number 24. That's Kursky, their top goal scorer, as Jason told you in the pregame but just can't get a handle of it, and it was defended nicely by the Bruins out of bounds. He'll get a free kick, or excuse me, a corner kick. Now we have a, no, it is. It's going to be a free inbound. It's not a corner kick. Referee initially said he was going to have a corner kick, but he did not. Now we're going to get an inbound, a free inbound. And it goes towards the middle of the field, and it's broken up by Riverbank as they kick it out towards the middle of the field. West Campus trying to handle it. Now the Bruins have the ball, but it looks like it's going to be a little bit too aggressive by Riverbank. Here comes the free kick opportunity, but the goalkeeper grabs it for Riverbank, Rafael Ramirez. Ramirez now free kicks it up on the far side. Taken away there nicely by number 15 for West Campus. They'll bring it ahead. As that is Jesse Rodriguez. Rodriguez now sends it back and it, sending it ahead is West Campus, but the ball now will be played towards the middle of the field. Picked up there by Rodrigo as he tries to move it ahead and it's broken up nicely there by Rodriguez once again for West Campus. So not a lot of offensive possessions by either team as trying to feel one another out. A lot of play in the middle of the field. And here comes a free kick now by Riverbank. As Lopez looks like he's getting ready, trying to set it up. Now Eric Hernandez will take it for the Riverbank Bruins. And he kicks it towards the middle of the field. Downfield, but it's headed away. Nicely there by Navarro. West Campus trying to send it ahead. And they're trying to get it ahead to, to Khalil. Their top goal scorer was just too far ahead of him as the ball will go out of bounds back to Riverbank. Off the inbounds, broken up nicely there by West Campus. They're trying to send it ahead. But quickly, Riverbank gains control, and they try to clear it out of the zone, and they do. Ball was headed out of bounds by Navarro, so the ball will go back to Riverbank Bruins. So not a whole lot of action as far as offensive play by either team trying to set up alignments in the opposing zone, as we still have a lot of play in the middle of the field. So they're still feeling each other out. 
Yeah, that was something that we've seen in the earlier game, too, that uh, to start the game, both both teams keeping the ball pretty much at midfield, uh, going back and forth, just trying to fill each other out for the start of the game. So uh, we'll see which team starts to uh, take over the, the possession time, uh, is what I like to call it, seeing as I'm a football announcer. But uh, I don't know if they do that stat, but uh, that's what I'm going <laughs> to call it. Navarro makes a nice inbounds pass to the far side of the field, trying to change the alignment now. Quickly tries the West Campus trying to send it ahead, but it's broken up nicely by the defenders of the Bruins. And here they come offensively, trying to get a break here. As in the middle of the field, Jonathan Rodriguez, their number one goal scorer, sends it up on the far side. Broken up there by West Campus as the Warriors now have control, but quickly broken up there by number 16, Ivan Vigil. Vigil, excuse me. As that ball went out of bounds. Looks like it will be Riverbank's ball. And it'll be a free kick opportunity. So we have uh, 33 minutes to go here in the first half. So about uh, seven minutes ticked off of this one so far. And it's been pretty much back and forth action between the Bruins and the Warriors. Here comes a kick opportunity, goal score opportunity for the Bruins, but broken up nicely there by a defender. I believe that was number eight, Jacob Gonzalez, who made the play. Yeah, the uh, the goaltender for uh, for West Campus seemed to be quite upset about that one. Roman Hernandez, uh, he was looking towards the side judge, and he was asking for an offsides, and the side judge did not uh, grant that one. So they're uh, looking a little upset, but nonetheless uh, didn't equal into a goal. So here comes the goal kick. Hernandez with the kick here as he sends it to the middle of the field. And trying to get possession is West Campus. Here comes an opportunity now. And an obvious push off by Lopez on number 24. And that's Kersey, Khalil Kersey, as he didn't try to get him off stride. So that's an obvious penalty and a free kick opportunity for West Campus. Something they needed now to get them going offensively. It's 32-15 to go here in the first half. We're on Play on Sports. My name is Thomas Conroy alongside my partner, Jason Passon, we thank you so much for tuning in here for San Joaquin Division 5 Soccer. Yeah, I'd like to also uh, give a shout-out to uh, Victor Adams up on the camera and Nathan Schemmel, who's our producer here uh, in the press box. So got a nice little team here working on these championship games here at Lincoln High School. What a nice pass there that oh, was. Oh, beautiful pass off the feet. Curtsy sent it to Degado, who sent it in the middle for the goal. And just like that, Riverbank, or excuse me, West Camp is ahead, one nothing. Uh, I think the goalie or the uh, referee is going to cancel that goal and call it an offsides, saying they're going to make it a goal kick here. So they're going to call offsides on West Campus, and uh, that's going to eliminate what a, a beautiful pass and play by the the Warriors, uh, which nearly, nearly ended up in a goal. So good play by the Warriors. Uh, unfortunate for them, they got called offsides, but uh, hopefully they can keep it moving and put one in the goal. Yeah, I found out just like Felix Delgado for West Campus, and he couldn't believe it. But that seemed like a great opportunity there offensively for West Campus. Let's see if they can return to it. In the middle of the field now, possession open as coming up for it is Kersey now has it, their top goal scorer. He sends it on the far side. And it's broken up there nicely by Eric Hernandez, the midfielder. One thing I've noticed so far already is Khalil Kirksey for the West Campus number 24, being their uh, their leading goal scorer, also their leading assist man. So uh, he's got pretty solid passes so far, has Khalil, uh, and uh, he's looking quite good out there. He's definitely looking like a captain, as I, even though I don't have him as a captain on my roster, but he's out there as a definite weapon for the offensive uh Attacking Warriors. Yeah, he looks taller than it says here on the roster. 5'11", 170. Very imposing on the field as he get, tries to get off the inbound. Two defenders coming over to knock the ball away. Armando Rodriguez was the man for, uh, for Riverbank up there as now they inbound the ball. Loose ball picked up by the West Campus as they try to get it ahead. And they're going to say uh, a little too aggressive on the tackle there was the, the captain Rodriguez for Riverbank. So free kick opportunity for the Warriors at the 29-51 mark here on Play on Sports. Division 5 San Joaquin Championships as the West Campus Warriors now are getting ready. Off the kick in bounce and cannot play by Delgado for West Campus as the ball will go out of play. Yeah. 
quickly off the inbounds. Uh, it going is the keeper, Rafael Ramirez. Ramirez now. Getting ready now for the free kick. He'll put it towards the right side of the field and it'll go out of bounds, actually into the West Campus bench area. Trying to set up a play for number 20, Kenny Villas, but could not get to it. Okay, here comes West Campus now trying to get it ahead. Broken up there nicely by Pantoya there, the defender. Still trying to gain control of it. Now kicks it out into the middle of the field, but it looks like he also got in contact with Khalil on the top of his head. So Kersey drew the foul and a free kick opportunity for West Campus. DeAndre Hamblin now, the captain, will looks like he was setting up for the free kick. Now gives it away to Francisco Reyes. Reyes now. Looking over the alignment and sends the kick on the far side. Trying to get it to Khalil, but it was broken up there by Riverbank. And I think they called offsides on West Campus on the play. So a few uh, early offside calls for both teams so far. Uh, it looks like it's been affecting West Campus more than Riverbank, though, as uh, they've had a couple of solid opportunities to put some shots on goal. Uh, unfortunately, they have been called for the onsides, and it has uh, resulted in no goals scored so far. But nonetheless, uh, I'd say that West Campus is the more attacking school at this moment, and uh, they are continuously trying to keep the ball on the attacking side of the field. Yeah, off of a couple of free kick opportunities, West Campus finally has possession in the middle of the field. As Francisco Reyes now will take the free kick opportunity on the uh, on the four hash marks on the football field. There goes his kick, nicely centered there, broken up there by Doug, uh, by Pantoya. He's done a nice job into the middle of the field. Kicked ahead by West Campus as Riverbank tries to gain control. They do on the four sidelines though. So heavily guarded there by number two. Makaya Albert is the Red Bank player. Now out to the middle of the field. Here goes Hamblin. Trying to gain control. Cannot. Broken up there by Riverbank. Out to the middle of the field. Here they come offensively now. Picked up there by number 18, Imenez. Sends it far side to Velez. Kenny Velez trying to get it ahead. Gets taken down cleanly by the West Campus defender. Another good tackle. Loose ball. Picked up by West Campus. No. Broken up there nicely by number 16, Vigel did not want to give up that opportunity for Riverbank. Or, yeah, Riverbank. So it'll be West Campus's ball. <coughs> Quickly off the inbounds now. Coming up ahead is Villez trying to get in the middle of the field. Good shot on net. One hop played there by Hernandez for West Campus. Good concentration by the goalkeeper. It's those tricky bounces. <laughs> they get in front of you. They can slip right by you easily. Here comes now... Riverbank getting on offensively now on the far side, trying to get in the middle, broken up there by West Campus as they kick it out to the center of the field, put back into the play by Riverbank. Good crisp action here on the early going. Boy, Hamlin stole the ball nicely, gets uh, West Campus ahead offensively. Here they come out in the middle of the field, picked up there by Reyes. He comes out now towards the center and now resets it up, but picked up a stolen away there by Jimenez for Riverbank out ahead now to number 12, Edson, and he just cannot read the ball as the ball was kicked out of play by West Campus. So some action there here at the 25-30 mark. Yeah, that was very nice defense by West Campus there. They were able to uh, meet that on a – meet the, 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 the attacker with a nice through ball, and uh, he was able to get it out and uh, get the throw in here for Riverbank. So I think we're going to have a couple substitutions once we can here for West Campus. Senior Velez for Riverbank sends it on the near sidelines. Broken up there by West Campus as sends out towards the middle of the field. But now trying to send it back in is Riverbank as they're, they're trying to set up their alignment. As they try to get to the middle of the field. Cannot greatly defended there. Nicely defended by West Campus. It's Hamblin now playing give and go with a, with a teammate as the ball gets broken up on a hard tackle there by number five, Martin Pantoya, and he's been awfully aggressive from that defender position. Yeah, DeAndre Hamlin is not uh, not too excited about the, the no call. Or actually, we are going to get a booking. So uh, number five, 
for Riverbank, uh, Martin Pantoya is going to receive a yellow card and we'll have to uh, take some time off the field. We are going to receive some substitutions here for West Campus. Uh, we're going to have number seven coming on who uh, we weren't able to receive. A no oh, we were Kevin Goins and uh, also number 11 coming on, Josh Sanchez. So a couple of substitutions here for West Campus with uh, 24 minutes to go in the first half. Off the free kick now is West Campus as they send it into the offensive zone. Broken up there by Riverbank in the middle of the field. Nice kick there by number two for West Campus, Makai Albert, but just missed the net. So good defensive battle here in the uh, first part of the uh, half here. Yeah, def definitely a completely different game than the first game we witnessed uh, with uh, a total of eight goals scored in that game. And we have no goals scored here so far in the first half of this game. So uh, definitely a defensive battle, keeping it interesting and uh, keeping it close are both teams. Yeah, and then the ball now gets kicked out of bounds by West Campus. So a free inbounds by Riverbank. And they're going to take the free kick, I believe. And they're going to actually move it now onto the field. Referees are going to allow them to do that. You have the option in soccer to do either. And here come the Bruins now, waiting for their alignment to get set. And here comes the free kick. It comes towards the net, but West Campus nicely defending that as they move it out towards the middle of the field. Kept in play, though, by the Bruins. Here they come offensively. Hamblin now trying to get the ball ahead. Cannot as it was broken up nicely by Yipes for Riverbank. Off the inbounds. West Campus has the ball as they try to kick it ahead. And it will be played there by the Bruins. Far side of the field trying to open it up. Now towards the center as here comes Riverbank. Has a push into behind and that will get whistled by number 15. And that is uh, Jesse Rodriguez for West Campus. Waiting now are the Bruins. They get their free kick as they wait for the alignment to get set. And now it goes on the far side of the field. Trying to set up towards the middle. Broken up there by West Campus on a booming kick down the far sideline. Yeah, that was like an 80-yard kick. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Sign that kid up for a field goal kicker on their school next year. Man, that is some kick. Yeah, he looked like uh, Sebastian Janikowski out there <laughs> kicking that one. And off the end now, off the kick as uh, both teams trade it. It comes towards the net. Now here comes Riverbank as they come ahead. Volez now trying to get ahead. Cannot get around a defender as it gets tied up nicely and kicked out of play for the free corner kick. Yeah, that was uh, Felix Garcia on the defensive uh, play there for West Campus. He was able to get the ball out. Uh, luckily got it out of uh, a little bit of danger, but that will bring up a corner kick here for Riverbank. So let's see if uh, West Campus can't... Uh, get this ball cleared and completely out of danger. And their top goal scorer, Jonathan Rodriguez, with 22 on the year, will take the free kick. And off the middle, nicely broken up there by West Campus, and they have an opportunity now as they get Hamlin ahead. Broken up nicely by Yibez, and Riverbank loses the ball, but more importantly, West Campus now trying to inbound it as Hamlin now encourages his teammates to get downfield. Good inbounds pass. Trying to break it up is West Bank kick on net. Broken up by the Bruins. And they kick it out towards the middle of the field. Near sidelines now. Picked up by Hamblin. And nicely tackled out of bounds by Ibez of Riverbank. So free inbounds for West Campus. Waiting now for his team to get aligned up. And I think we have a couple of substitutions here. For, uh, well, one, uh, a couple but for both teams, actually. Looks like number 20 coming in for West Campus. I don't have him on my roster, on our updated roster, so he's coming into the game. We'll try to get his no name and number, match him up. Off the free inbounds. Hamlin going to throw it towards the net. Played nicely by the Bruins goalkeeper, Rodriguez. Or Ramirez, excuse me, got up and made the catch. And now we're going to get a whistle. And they're going to say interference by the defender. So it'll be a free kick in the corner by West Campus. Number 
number 23, the captain, Francisco Reyes, will get the corner kick here. They're going to defend the inner net. Here comes the kick in the middle of the field. Broken up there by Red Bank as they try to get it out. And desperately trying to kick it out towards the middle of the field. And they finally do as the Bruins now get ahead offensively. Charging downfield is Felix Garcia, the defender. And they're going to call a whistle, a push-off by one of the Red Bank players. So a lot of give and take here at the 1855 mark of the first half here on Play on Sports. Division 5 San Joaquin Soccer Championships. Yeah, this uh, Division 5 championship game has been quite defensive throughout this entire first half. Uh, not too many goals scored. Well, actually, no goals scored, so I can't say too many because that e would equal that. At least one has been scored. But uh, no goals scored here, uh, keeping it, like I said, very interesting. It uh, keeps me kind of at the edge of my seat throughout this entire game, trying to see who will get that first goal uh, and uh, take home this Section 5 championship. Uh, if the free kick it went towards the Riverbank net, they send it down field now, and West Campus plays it nicely. Their goalkeeper charging up, Roman Hernandez. And now he'll kick it towards the middle of the field. Sent ahead by Hamlin, trying to get it to seven. And that's Kenny Goins, who just came in the game. So nice scoring opportunity, but broken up nicely by the goalkeeper, Rafael Ramirez. And he'll send it high up in the middle of the field. And Riverbank will try to send it offensively ahead. Cannot. Great defense by the Warriors. Now as they get it ahead, slipping on the ground was Hamlin. So he lost control of the football momentary, or the soccer ball, and he gets it ahead. You could say football. <laughs> yeah. If I'm in Britain or in Europe. It works for me. <laughs> you got to say it, football. Yeah. Up ahead, collision there midfield, and West Campus has it as they get it ahead and send it far side, see if they can keep it in. No, they cannot. Goins made a good effort, just couldn't get there in time. He was cut off there by Ruben Lopez for Riverbank as he sends it in on the free pass. Bruins out, trying to move it up ahead, and they do on the far sidelines, but broken up there by West Campus. They have good defense, the Warriors do. They're right on top of it. They're not letting them get too far ahead offensively. That's the ball now, middle of field. Four, picked up by Velez for Riverbank. Trying to get it ahead. Trying to get around a defender. Cannot. Played nicely. Weak shot towards net. And Hernandez will pick it up. Good defense there by West Campus. Cutting off the angle for Velez. They can force that. Soft shot. Give it to number 11 there, Josh Sanchez, who made the nice play. So we have number five, Felipe Delgado, checking in for West Campus on a substitution here. So uh, seeing a, a lot of people constantly moving in for West Campus so far. He's been very liberal with his uh, bringing people in and out of the lineup here in the first half, keeping everybody fresh, obviously, for the second half. Ball well, now contested out in the middle of the field, trying to get it ahead are the Bruins. They do, but it's going to be tied up there by West Campus as they're going to let the ball go out of bounds. Free pass for them as they try to get it ahead. Hamlin now letting the ball bounce in front of him, trying to uh, Whoa. make a play, and it was kicked up almost in our directions by number eight, Yipez for uh, Riverbank, Jesus Yipez. Quickly off the inbounds now. Goins trying to get it ahead. Broken up there by Riverbank. And the ball will go out of bounds. And it will, ball possession will go to West Campus. Number five, Delgado will take the corner kick. Looks over the alignment before he sets it. And he sets it towards the net. High up. Broken up there by Ramirez. Trying to get ahead in there was Hamlin, and I think also uh, Khalil Kersey was there also. Both players very active in front of the net. Another corner kick now to the far side, and again Delgado will take it for the Warriors. 14.39 on the running clock. Here comes the kick inside, trying to send a header, and it goes in! Nice play there by number 10. 
DeAndre Hamblin. That was actually uh, number 24, Khalil Kirksey with the goal. So that, that will be his uh, 12th goal of the season as he had uh, 11 goals and 11 assists to start. So that will be his 12th on the season for Kirksey. And uh, that will give the West Campus Warriors the lead in this game with 14 minutes to go in the first half. Uh, they are now leading the Riverbank Bruins one to nothing here in the section or the Division Five uh, SAC Joaquin Section Championships in soccer. At the 13:57 mark, Kurt Kurtzy will get the goal, and as you called in the pregame, he's their top goal scorer, and he showed it right there. Great header, great concentration. Great kick by Delgado from the corner to get it to him. We're getting a yellow card now from the official, and that could be on the... Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to call excessive celebration. So excessive celebration. So Curti has to sit out for a little bit after the yellow card, and replacing him is number two, Makaya Albert, who just left the game. And number 10 is uh, getting a warning from the official. And that usually means that you're a candidate for the next yellow card that will be issued if you ever played soccer. Kick ahead off the free and in the middle of the field. Here comes Riverbank. They trail now by one goal. Trying to get it ahead, are they? As a good high kick from one of the defenders is caught easily by the goalkeeper, Roman Hernandez. Out ahead now comes the ball on the far side. Here come the Warriors with the one goal lead trying to add on but picked up by Ramirez, their goalkeeper. So wasted opportunities from both teams as he sends a good high kick on the far side as he seems to be playing catch with the other goalkeeper right now. Comes ahead in the middle of the field, missed there uh, by the defender. Hamlin sends it ahead to Goins who runs into the goalkeeper who came charging out to defend it. We're going to get a whistle and... That will be, uh, they're going to call it on Goins running into the kicker. As, uh, it looked like that, that could have went 50-50 either way on that call. The, the, obviously, the, the, the kicker is, uh, don't want to hit him, but, and he comes way out of the crease right there. Uh, to me, he almost is like fair game. Yeah, I agree. Uh, he ran all the way up there. Uh, they were both just going for the ball. There wasn't any excessive, uh, any, any extra activity. So uh, I don't quite know all the uh, the rules towards the penalties, so I, I'm not going to sit here and beg to differ on that call, as the referee called it uh, unnecessary. So uh, nonetheless, it was a free kick for Riverbank, and they are going to receive another one here at about the 30-yard line of the football field. 11.30 to go as Hernandez's kick was uh, whistled, as here comes another free kick opportunity by Riverbank, and boy, nice save there by Hernandez off the kick by Rodriguez. He timed it perfectly to knock that ball away. She came in hard, Roman Hernandez. Yeah, that was definitely nice uh, goal goaltending by Hernandez as that ball was a, a good shot on goal. It came high and he was able to punch it out. So good goaltending. Rodriguez corner kick, loose in front and just missing it wide. Off the, off the shot there was... Garcia for Riverbank as it hit the side of the net, and it will be a free kick for West Campus. So timely, uh, unfortunate and untimely time there for Garcia to take a shot as he just missed it on a good feed by Rodriguez from the corner. And here come the Warriors now. They will kick it. Waiting now. It looks like we're... Referee pulls his whistle, waiting for his to fit, uh, him to get action going. And here it goes. A nice kick in the middle of the field. It's going to be fall, fall through and picked up by Hamblin, but broken up there by Pantoya. So Pantoya is back in the game after he got a yellow card and had to sit out a bit. Off the inbounds, here comes West Campus trying to get it ahead and broken up by Riverbank out to the far side of the field. Kicked ahead now by West Campus. Battling for it, both teams in the middle of the field, and we're going to get a whistle, a little too aggressive action by Vigel there, number 16 for Riverbank as he got whistled, and a free kick opportunity for West Campus. I like the sportsmanship, though. Uh, he took him down with a slide tackle, and he helped him right back up afterwards. So even though he's down in the game, he still helped the opposing player up. Uh, I like the sportsmanship. Rodriguez off the free kick, and Hamlin 
complained that he got pushed in the back as he would have had a good opportunity to head that ball ahead. Trying to gain control is West Campus, but broken up there by Lopez of Riverbank to send it out of bounds. And now the referee blows his whistle and wants to have a conversation with Hamblin, number 10. And this is where I have a problem with referees. They get involved in the game way too often down in the, in the, in the southern section where I'm from, Jason. And, and sometimes this is unnecessary. The, the, the player had the disagreement. It seemed like he wanted to con still continue to play. And now he, he sent him off the field and... Uh, Sometimes it's just unnecessary for that action, you know. Does he have to uh, receive a card to be sent off the field, or is he can just be told to be sent off? Yeah, the field? I, I think they're just giving him a, a rest. It, 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 effectively, I think he was be, being taken out of the game, anyways. But doesn't make an action like that. Sometimes referees get way too involved in the game. I have noticed uh, early uh, Hamblin and the referee having a couple of words throughout this early early in the game. So uh, obviously, number ten for West Campus uh, Hamblin not too thrilled with the referee out there today. Nonetheless, uh, Khalil Kirksey will uh, come in for Hamlin, so he is back out on the field after receiving his yellow card for the uh, excessive celebration after his goal. After a missed shot now, here comes Riverbank trying to get it ahead. So we're uh, just about the eight-minute mark here to go in the first half, so a uh, low-scoring game, a defensive battle between the uh, West Campus Warriors and Riverbank Bruins. And off the free kick, ball went through the legs of the Bruins player and out of bounds, and it'll be back to West Campus as they inbound the ball. Towards the middle, broken up there. And it's trying to get it ahead is West Campus to the Warriors. Here comes uh, Curtsy trying to get it in on net, and good shot towards the net. And nobody was there in front. Now finally picking it up are the Warriors. Another f far kick to the outside post, just missing it was Delgado. Nice shot there by Felix Del uh, Felipe Delgado. Yeah, that was a couple of two solid crosses from West Campus, uh, one from Khalil Kirksey and one from Delgado, uh, both uh, sending uh, uh, easily uh, live balls across the middle. Uh, if they happen to have any one of their teammates in the middle there, those uh, both could have easily led to goals. So solid crosses. If they can continue to get that going and get a couple people in the box, maybe they can uh, get a head on it or a foot on it and put one in the net. But uh, nonetheless, nice attacking from, uh, ooh, that's a hard tackle there. Yeah, good, uh, good attempt there by Pantoya, but a little too aggressive as the Warriors will gain control here at 641 of the first half. They lead it one nothing. Off the feed now, trying to get it ahead to Curtsy, and it will go out of bounds, and it will be ball back to Riverbank's possession. Rafael Ramirez, the senior now. We'll take the free kick. He's looking over the alignment now. He's allowed to move the ball up a bit by the official. And he will get ready to go. Off the kick, middle of the field, and headed ahead by the West Campus Warriors. Loose ball in the middle of the field, picked up there by Garcia. As he loses it, now trying to get it ahead is the West Campus. They're trying to gain control here at the midfield mark, and they send it off to the near side. Delgado now trying to send it ahead to Curtsy. He gets knocked off the ball by Villez. No whistle as he has control of it, now trying to work it towards the middle of the field. Trying to get it ahead, but a good slide tackle by Reyes, the captain, and we're going to get a whistle. And he's complaining that he did not touch him at all. Loose ball. Picked up now by Rodriguez as he sends it back out now to try to reset up the alignment. Far side now. Here comes uh, Reyes. He'll send it back to one of his defenders as they will now try to rework the alignment, trying to get it in the middle of the field. They do. Here comes Riverbank as taken down from behind there by number three. And he looks like he might get a card. Rodriguez, the goalkeeper, talking it over with the official. And as Javier Sanchez took a player down hard and still pleading his case is the captain, Francisco Reyes, for his teammate. But I think they're going to get a free kick here just outside the offensive zone. 
No, uh, this is a uh, this is gonna be a penalty kick. Yeah. Yeah, th- that's th- what I meant. Excuse me. I like this is big right here. The, this uh, this normally leads to goals in soccer. Best goal uh, scorer on the Riverbank roster, Jonathan Rodriguez, will take the penalty kick. Twenty-two on the season. So Ramon Hernandez now psyching himself up. As here we go, kick on the near side, broken up by Hernandez, but Rodriguez puts it in off the rebound in front. So smart play there by Rodriguez as he put it off the goalkeeper, realizing nobody could defend that rebound attempt, and he put it easily in the goal on the opposite side at the 352 mark. Yeah, I want to give a hats off to Roman Hernandez, though. Uh, He made a nice block on the original kick from the penalty kick. Uh, Unfortunately, he just wasn't able to get the comebacker. So uh, good defending by Hernandez. Uh, Nonetheless, giving up a goal, tying this game up at one with about three and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. So this has definitely been an interesting and uh, close game throughout so far the first half. So uh, keeping it interesting here as we've got, uh, moved up a division from Division 6, our previous game, to Division 5 this game. So it's beginning to prove it with uh, the defense being uh, that much more better. So we're tied at one off the midfield, and we're going to get another whistle. A little too aggressive play. The referee telling West Campus as they move back defensively. So Bolt's top goal scorers from each team have netted one, and that is our score here with 2.55 to go. With Riverbank and West Campus tied at one here in Division 5 on Play On Sports. Off the kick, and it gets out to the middle of the field. Trying to head it ahead is the Warriors. And now trying to go deep on with, with Goins. you trying to use Goins' speed, but cannot get to the ball. And crossing it is Riverbank now to try to get an opening. Bruins now kick it down midfield. Misplayed there by a Warrior defender, but backed up nicely as he kicks it out towards the middle of the field. Here comes now Hamlin now trying to get it ahead, but he was offside. Just a little bit. Good call by the official. Hamlin just got a little bit out ahead of the ball, and that's the reason for the offside. Yeah, Hamlin definitely does not enjoy this referee here today. <laughs> He's uh, been quite upset any time that whistle is blown. Uh, nonetheless, he was caught off sides there, so he's a little upset for, for no reason on this play. But uh, he's just got to watch himself, and uh, that was a pretty good through ball there. So if he can get that again without being off sides, what a move there. Yeah, they're not going to exchange holiday cards this year at all, but the referee <laughs> and Hamlin now as Riverbank has the ball. Midfield, taken away nicely. Here come the Warriors out ahead. Hamlin trying to get around a a midfielder, but broken up nicely. And then Curtsy now has it, and he gets taken down by Reyes, the captain of Riverbank. And he gets helped up by two of his opponents. And it looks like Francisco Reyes now will get the free kick opportunity just at the 42-yard line on the football field. I definitely like the sportsmanship between both teams. Uh, both teams seem to uh, have a common enemy in the guy in the green jersey on the field, so they uh, are helping each other up uh, still with a very close game. I'm enjoying the sportsmanship by both teams here. Yeah, it's nice to see. No doubt about that. Both teams make last-minute substitutions here. And now West Campus trying to line up, get their top scorers and towards the front of the... Try to get him a little easy entrance towards the net off the free kick. It's a little lob out in front, trying to head it as curtsy, but he was offside. Ball goes back to Riverbank. Tough break there as West Campus seems like they designed that play for him and could not get it to their top goal scorer. Off the free kick, way downfield. Nicely done there by the Bruins goalkeeper. Running ahead is Velez. He's trying to get a shot on net. Deflected at first, now sends another one to the far side. Not played by anybody, and finally now gaining control are the Bruins here with with under with two minute mark. So we're in uh, extra time here. We'll wait for the official to see when he puts the whistle up to towards his mouth when this this time will be up. And here come West Campus now trying to get a little offense here before the first half as they head it out towards the middle of the field and it becomes loose and. Trying to get it ahead are the Warriors. Trying to get one last opportunity broken up there by the Bruins. 
Yeah, that was a nice play by Lopez for the Bruins. Uh, uh, the the Warriors were trying to make a nice through pass, and uh, he happened to just stick his foot out there and block it. Very nice defense by Lopez for the Bruins. Goins now will be substituted as they bring in number 11, Josh, Shan uh, Josh Sanchez. It looks like he will be – no, I thought he was going to inbound the ball. He just went towards the ball and then moved away. Here comes the inbounds nicely in the middle. Hamlin trying to head it ahead to Sanchez, who works in the corner, trying to send it in the middle of the field. Back to Hamlin. Ooh. Broken up there nicely by Volez, number 20 of Riverbank. Oh, that would have been a goal for Hamlin. Yeah, that was a, a very good opportunity for the Warriors. Uh, Hamlin had a nice uh, wide-open net. But uh, unfortunately for the Warriors, they, they met solid defensive play by the Bruins. Free kick by Delgado goes through the crease and back on the outside. Curtsy now has it. Trying to get it towards the middle. Broken up there by the Bruins. They have a man streaking down the near side. Couldn't get it to him. Now they're trying to get it ahead, but it's broken up there by the Warriors as they send it towards the keeper. And he will pick up the ball. And he has it as he's looking now to make a play. We're tied at one here. Riverbank and West Campus here. Division five. Headed ahead now the Warriors in their own zone. Trying to get it out to the offense. And it gets broken up there by two defenders, go, uh, two players going for it on both sides, and it will be West Campus's ball. And bounce ahead and loose ball, trying to get it, at, get it is the Warriors, but it's kicked out by the Bruins, and it goes out of bounds again. Curtsy has it, gives it back to Sanchez. Trying to get it ahead to the top scorer. He gets taken down. And they're going to say it's clean as Sanchez and look like Rodriguez went for the ball simultaneously. And it gets kicked out of bounds. So it will be Riverbank's ball. Inbounds ahead. Sanchez breaks it up nicely for West Campus. Trying to get it out to the middle of the field. Two players hit one another. And it will be West Campus's ball. Here we go off the free kick. They got Hamlin ahead. He's trying to gain control of the ball. Trying to get around the defender here on the near side. Cannot. Gets tied up nicely by Hernandez, the captain. And the ball comes loose. And it will be Riverbank's possession. Hamlin thought he got tied up illegally. But uh, nobody's listening to his case as he tries to plead it near the, uh, near the near side of the net. Rafael Ramirez now, the goalkeeper for Riverbank, will have a free kick opportunity. And the kick is in the middle of the field and played there by West Campus. Trying to get it ahead, Curtsy now, trying to get Hamlin broken up there oh. by Hernandez as he kicks it through the legs of Hamlin and out of bounds. That was a very nice through ball by Kirksey. Uh, tried to find Hamlin here on the outside. He almost had him, but it was a nice defensive play by uh, number five, Martin uh, Pantoya, by Riverbank High School. So a uh, good defensive play by Riverbank, uh, good offensive play by West Campus. But uh, so far they are they are like a, a po uh, the positive and positive side of a magnet, and they just keep uh, fighting each other off. And that will do it for this half of football, or excuse me, soccer. <laughs> you got my hand. My disease. Yep. Ramirez kicked the free ball, as Jason said, and it went out to the middle field, and that will do it here for the first half. Tight score here between the Riverbank Bruins and the West Campus Warriors. We'll take a quick timeout ourselves, come back with more soccer action, the second half of Division Five soccer from the San Joaquin section on Play on Sports. Stay tuned. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. Three sixteen left to go in this ball game. I formation, third and three from the forty five of the Wolverines. And this time, holy cow! Dion almost hands it to the Westview player. He's going to run this to the 5-10. Touchdown, Wolverines! 
How did that happen? Jason that was Snyder. Holy cow. He was in the backfield before the running back could even get the handoff. He took the handoff from he Dion. He took the ball right out of Dion's hands and just. <laughs> Holy cow. Can't say I've seen that one very often. Snyder comes shooting in from the A-gap. I think Dion froze when he saw him. He's ready to hand off to his running back. He froze when he saw him and just hand, let him have the ball. 12 seconds to go. Oh, you could hear a pin drop. Five, four, three, two. Get the snap off. Last play of the game. Brewster rolls right. Gets away from two sacks. Dons win. Sack at the 20-yard line. What a game. And number 40, Lucas Zinder with the game-saving sack. And there is heartbreak on one sideline and a jubilation on another. Offset eye for the Grizzlies as Keeney takes it under center. They'll send a man in motion. Pitch back to Bird on the sweep. Bird finds a seam. He might go, folks. 20, 15, 10. Drags a tackler. Touchdown! Bird goes 38 yards for the touchdown on the sweep. One more snap is all it's going to take. And there you have it, folks. Your 2011 Division I Sack Joaquin section champions, the Granite Bay Grizzlies, as they defeat Pleasant Grove 30-24. to Jacqueline Williamson. Her serve is over. Dug by Holt. Giblin going back to Holt near side. Cut shot. Kept alive. Back in one by Cathedral. And this one is out as Castanon Hill sends it wide. And the Cathedral Dons have won the title 16-14 in game five. Thomas with the ball. Swings it out to Norris. Cameron Taylor tried to block that one away. Norris with a strong take. Blocked by B.J. Anya. Huge block. Robinson leading the break the other way. Gets it to Grant. Oh. Slam dunk Jeremy Grant off the feed from James Robinson. What a play by the Stag. Runner at third is Chavez. 8-2 to two the score. Bottom of the seventh. The 1-2. Popped in the air. This should do it. Corda Posse says it's mine. Now he's fading on it. And he can't make the catch, but Gaff comes in from center field and does. Congratulations to the St. Mary's Rams, a three-peat. They win it 8-2 to two against Franklin to take the series two games to none. But this is time to run an offensive set that you've done all through the season in practice. Yeah. And you also, you know, you get it to your to your hottest player right now. Just like they're getting it to I right here. He's going to try to create some space, find somebody on the backside that's open. I course flush out to the right. Oh, breaks free of a player. I course on his own, shoots and scores, bounces the shot home. Kuz can't handle the shot. I course takes off the shirt and the helmet. And how about that? Alex called it. I course after sustaining the injury in the third quarter of play. Has scored the game winner with 22 seconds gone in the overtime period. Dogpile on the field. Marin Academy take it. A fantastic finish to this game. And, well, I hope his other ankle isn't hurting after this. Hancock to his immediate left. Two receivers far side, one near side. Hancock on a counter right side. He's inside the 10. He bounces off a tackler at the 10. The 5. Touchdown, Helix. And behind Hancock, the field is littered with white jerseys on the turf. Wow. Hancock not to be outdone by his fellow uh, playmakers on offense. Put on a show on that short 12-yard touchdown run. Looked like he was down after three yards. Just threw a defender on the ground. As sophomore Chris Carter steps under center. In their tight wing formation, Lagos in motion. Second back through is Freeman. Freeman just knocking people over. Look at him run. Breaks through. Four tackles. And now it's just a foot race to the end zone. And Freeman's going to go the distance. Touchdown, Imperial, on the first play of the second half. Second and six for Imperial from their own 47. They're going to give it to Freeman again off the right, left side. And Freeman gets by one wave and down across the 20, 40 yard line. Still on his feet. Look at him run down to the 20 yard line. One man to beat. Gets by him. Touchdown, Freeman. How did he do that? Holy cow. 
64-yard touchdown run, his fifth of the game. Royce Freeman, ladies and gentlemen, you're about to see the top rushing. And the <laughs> as I look over to our partners at KXO Radio, the top rusher wow. in the San Diego section for the next two years. That's just amazing. That is just amazing. They hit him in the backfield. They hit him at the line of scrimmage. They hit him a couple yards downfield. They hit him again near the goal line. Keep those Lowell fans quiet over there. Lum sets it up for Pang. Long, it's out. Low, a magnificent seven titles in the San Francisco section in dramatic style as they pull out a fantastic victory over a spirited Galileo Lions team. They win the fourth game, 31-29, and they take the 2012 Academic Athletic Association San Francisco section title. Officials say no five-second count can be started. Nobody was close enough defensively. Lyle's going to swing left side, Robinson. Here is a backdoor lob there for Grant. They've been wanting that all game. And they got it, 50-42. They lulled you to sleep, and then they hit Grant on the back door. They trail by two. McMorrow's kick is on the way, and it is good. good. St. Augustine has their first lead of the game, 21-20, to with 25 seconds to play. The senior McMorrow with a huge kick. Not the longest of his career, but the biggest of his career. Oh, St. Augustine leads it 21 to already lining up. They won't even have to run that one more play. They just acquiesce. Yeah, why there bother? So there you have it. Your five-time defending Division Three champions, the Cathedral Catholic Dons, running up over and through Olympian 41 to nothing here from Qualcomm Stadium. Patriots down 21-17. Great ball game here. Dylan taking it, looking right, throwing it up top to Gaines. It will be caught by Gaines. Oh, my goodness. It looked like the defender had it, but Gaines stole it away from him. Jason Gaines, are you kidding me, my friend? Oh, boy. It looked like for sure we had an interception by the Tories, but as they both were going to the ground, Jason Gaines just wrestled it away from him. Shane Dillon to Jason Gaines on an 11-yard play. Fanchin in the game, now out, replaced by Hayashi, the libero for defense. Wenzel serve, championship point, ball up in the air. Hayashi's going to bring it back. Richards, deep one over and three. Free opportunity. Look for Wallace. No, they go Becker. Hayashi, then tap over and two by Hollingsworth. Now look for Wallace for the match. Kathleen Wallace, no better way for the Bulls to finish it than giving it to their senior leader. 25-12, 25-15, and with eight straight points to close out their third straight D5 championship on a kill by Kathleen Wallace, 25-21 in game three. Branson has won the D5 title. To the backfield, it's Hernandez and Northcutt. Sets to throw is Thomas, has time, goes for the home run. It's intercepted in the end zone. Seemed like it, they tried to go to Martin, and Martin slipped. Stockton, Hillmore and Escalon. That's going to do it, folks. Victory formation, take a kneel. The clock comes out. The clock will tick down the players jumping up at midfield. I think I see a, a Gatorade. Did, did we have a Gatorade shower? Uh, we most certainly did. Casey Taylor getting the shower there. Very much deserved. Down to 12. Great tackle there by Ronald Williams there to make the stop for Helix. And the Helix fans are starting to celebrate here. This is going to be the final play. Five seconds. Pow Pow will hand it off. And they're going to get in the end zone touchdown. That's Keegan who gets in, but that's going to be the end of the ball game. 44-6 to six will be the score. So Oceanside scores on the final play of the ball game.
Back with second half action here uh, from the San Joaquin, San Joaquin section at Lincoln High School, Division Five Soccer, West Campus Warriors over the River, are tied with the Riverbank of Bruins at one apiece. Both goal scorers in the first half, Khalil Kurtzi for West Campus and Jonathan Rodriguez for Riverbank and uh, my broadcast partner, Jason Patterson. Jason, quickly, your thoughts on the second half. What do you think it's going to come out here? Well, so far it's been a, a just a defensive battle from both sides, uh, and uh, I think that will continue on here into the second half. Uh, pretty much the winner of this game is going to be the, the the team that can get that extra goal. I wouldn't be surprised if we uh, exchange a couple more goals here in the second half, but uh, I don't see one team being more dominant than the other. I, I think it's been pretty pretty evenly played so far by both schools, so um, the, the, the school that can uh, go ahead and take that advantage here in the second half will go ahead with the uh, Section 5 championships. Free now getting his clock, uh, the official clock on his wrist, ready to go. And then we'll be ready to start second half action. West Campus will have the ball first. Just waiting for the official to blow his whistle and to begin play. And here we go. Hamlin now getting it ahead for West Campus as they charge ahead. But... As per the norm, River, Riverbank quickly gets defended on top of them and moves the ball ahead. Both teams exchanging it now and taken down there at midfield was Vulez, Kenny Vulez for Riverbank and it'll be a free kick opportunity for the Bruins. Off the kick now, straight ahead. Here comes Riverbank on the far side. Vulez now trying to get it before he steps out of bounds. He does, he sends a soft shot on net. I don't know if he ball was out and then he just kind of kicked it ahead but either way it was a weak shot by Riverbank free kick opportunity Ramirez giving away towards his defender who puts a big booming shot downfield goes around a defender here comes Hamlin now trying to get it ahead but broken up there nicely by Yipez for Riverbank Quickly, West, uh, West Campus sending it towards the net and played nicely there by Ramirez. Ramirez looking ahead and now we'll kick it towards the middle of the field. As West Campus trying to get it ahead, nicely done there by Felix Garcia, number 25. And it goes out of bounds back to Riverbank. Quick in bounce, and ahead goes Riverbank trying to get around the defender. They do, but it's kicked out of bounds and into the bushes off to our left here. That was a good hard shot there by one of the West Campus players. Quick in bounce now by the Bruins as they wait for the alignment. Here comes right towards the net and picked up there by Armando Rodriguez. Now broken up there by West Campus as they'll try to get it ahead. Javier Sanchez trying to get the ball ahead to Hamlin. Cannot. Broken up there by Riverbank. And they're trying to move it ahead, but broken up there by the Warriors. As now here comes Hamlin now. Got, it, got tied up by one of the defenders. He pushed off a bit, but no whistle. And now the ball goes out of bounds. And the second hit on Hamlin will be a whistle on number 11, Armando Rodriguez. As they try to tie him up and not allow him to use his speed and his physicality there downfield. Hamlin still has <laughs> word for the official before he gets his free kick opportunity. <laughs> They're still exchanging pleasantries from the first half. Yeah, they definitely enjoy each other's company. <laughs> Off the free kick and knocked down nicely there by Riverbank, but Hamlin has control. Trying to get around a defender. Now going to work towards the middle. Sends a good shot on net and took a weird hop. Ramirez played it nicely or else that would have skipped by him. 36-46 to go here in the second half. We're tied at one, Riverbank and West Campus. Off the free kick, and Garcia now will let the goalkeeper, Hernandez, make the play on it as he kind of got in the way of the oncoming uh, forward. And off the free kick, and I think uh, 
It will be played there by Ramirez. So both kickers now exchanging kicks towards one another. And here comes another free kick opportunity for Red Bank. West Campus trying to get it ahead, going in the opposite direction. Here comes Curtsy now as he gets it broken up there nicely by Pantoya, the defender for Riverbank, who's played an outstanding game from the defensive position, the uh, senior 6'1", 135 player. Felipe Delgado now for West Campus has it ahead. And he inbounds the ball, but uh, nobody was there. And it'll be picked up by Riverbank as it went out of bounds. Free kick now by Rafael Ramirez, the goalkeeper, the senior. Getting ready here at the 35-32 mark. And he sends it right towards the middle of the field. Gets headed ahead by Riverbank, still trying to gain possession. And now they do in the offensive zone. Weaving towards the middle of the field now are the Bruins. Soft kick broken up there by Garcia and going to be picked up there by Yipes and knocked away by one of the West Campus players. Yeah, pretty much a lot of back and forth action here so far in the second half. Uh, not one team being more dominant than the other. Uh, both teams showing good uh, signs on defense and offense. Uh, let's see which one can put the, pe the pieces of the puzzle together quicker and put uh, another goal on uh, in the net. Red Bank trying to get it uh, towards the middle of the field offensively. Broken up there by Garcia with a nice header. Kept in play by the Bruins. Now kicked off to the far side. But Garcia really showing defensive prowess all over the field as he kicks that ball away. He's been awfully impressive. Number 25, 6'1", 165. Can't miss him. But, boy, he, is, uh, he, he shows great lateral movement from, both, from, the, from the near side to the far side defensively. Red Bank now will get a corner kick. Kenny Villas will take it. Sends it towards the middle. Broken up there by Felix Garcia outside. Trying to keep it in on the Bruins. And it goes towards the net. Picked up nicely by Hernandez. Who free kicks it out to midfield. Hamblin now has it. it skipped away from a Red Bank player. Trying to get around a defender. And we're going to get a whistle. Got tied up there by Eric Hernandez, the uh, midfielder. Hamblin having a few extra words for the <laughs> official again. Uh, a lot of personality on this West <laughs> Campus team. Francisco Reyes will take it, the midfielder for West Campus now, the free kick. And a little soft lob, trying to get it to Hamlin, trying to get it over to Curtsy, but broken up there by Pantoya. See a little frustration now on the Warriors as they, they've had a little bit more offensive play in their zone. And now we're going to get a substitution as Kenny Goins is coming in. I think he's going to replace uh, DeAndre Hamblin. Nope. I thought he was running towards him, but he just was running towards the middle of the field. Off the free kick now. West Campus trying to gain control, and it gets headed towards out of bounds. I think that's going to be West Campus's ball. Yeah, it went off of one of the Bruins players. And here we go off the free pass. Goins immediately had, gets into the play immediately now on the far side, sends a weak shot towards net, and it doesn't even come close on a shot attempt. 32-18 to go here in the second half. Tied at one, Riverbank Bruins and the West Campus Warriors for the right to see who is the Division Five champion in the San Joaquin section. Ramirez now for Riverbank will try to kick it ahead, and he sends it towards the middle of the field. Played there by the Warriors. Goins now trying to get it on the near side. Cannot. Picked away by the Bruins. They can't handle it as Reyes now sends it towards the middle of the field. Sent back on the opposite end by Riverbank, but uh, Garcia quickly gets it ahead. And here we go. Riverbank has it now on the far side. Vulez now trying to run after it, trying to get around a defender. Cannot. He's in the corner, far corner. 
Trying to get a shot and attacked aggressively by Gonzalez. Loose ball, Riverbank has it. Trying to get it towards the middle of the field, but Garcia with a booming kick out to the midfield mark. Showing his presence here. Goins now trying to get it ahead. Cannot, and Riverbank has it. Now Pantoya has it. Trying to get it up on the far side to Jonathan uh, Rodriguez. Broken up there by West Campus. Ball still in the midfield mark. Reyes goes right around the defender, trying to get it out ahead towards Hamlin. And it will be played nicely there by the goalkeeper, Ramirez, as he had the angle on the ball as Hamlin could not beat him towards it. Off the free kick now. It goes deep into the zone. Broken up there by West Campus. So it will be a free ball. Free inbounds pass by Riverbank. Armando Rodriguez waiting for the ball. Gets it from one of the fans. And here goes the inbounds. Tightly contested by the Warriors, but Riverbank has possession. Now comes out in the midfield. Hamlin has it, trying to get it ahead to Goins. Or excuse me, to Curtsy. Curtsy goes around a couple of defenders. Trying to get around another one. Cannot. Broken up nicely by Armando Rodriguez. Inbounds quickly. Curtsy now trying to set up on a good alignment. And thought he had an opening, but cannot. Now will allow his teammate to inbound the ball. And that will be Albert. Micaiah Albert, number two. Good inbounds pass in towards the middle of the field. Broken up by Riverbank. Loose ball. Curtsy trying to get it on the far side. Cannot. Jonathan Rodriguez sends it ahead for Riverbank. And they have an opening. And they do. Far side of the field. Picked up there by Garcia. Sent the loft shot over the goalkeeper. Just short of the net as it goes on the outside post there for a missed shot. Boy, a little miscommunication by uh, West Bank's uh, defense there, and they almost, uh, they almost gave up an easy goal. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Riverbank had a good opportunity there to put a shot on goal and uh, almost put one in the net on that one on a nice chip over the goalie. Uh, it just happened to sail a little bit right. So good opportunity from Riverbank. Let's see if they can uh, get a couple more of those opportunities and capitalize on one. Off the free kick, uh, Albert <coughs> nicely defends the ball. Now inbounds it ahead for West Campus, but broken up there by Eric Hernandez the senior captain defenseman for Riverbank. 28.30 to go here in the game. We're tied at one. West Campus has held offensive possession off the inbounds. Ball goes through the crease. Picked up there by Curtsy, trying to get it to a teammate who kicks it high over the net. As looks like he didn't set himself well enough and really kicked it too high. And now the goalkeeper now will take the free kick as we move back down the opposite end of the field. Bad kick picked up by Goins of West Campus. Looked like he shanked it a bit. Goins trying to get possession, and he loses it, and it'll be Riverbank's ball. And bounding ahead, aggressive play here by West Campus on the turnover. Reyes trying to get it ahead. To Hamlin, but broken up there nicely by Hernandez and Pantoya as they work together to kind of get in his path and they kick it out of bounds. So West Campus is, nope, Riverbank's possession. Off the inbounds now, loose ball in the midfield mark. Looks like West Campus has it. Here comes Curtsy now trying to get around one defender. He does. He has Hamlin in the middle of the field, still trying to go around another defender. He has the angle, trying to send it towards his teammate, but broken up there nicely by Martin Pantoya. Yeah, that was good defensive there by the Reds or <laughs> by the Bruins. Sorry, that was last game. <laughs> good defense by the Bruins, though, to uh, to take that ball away on a good chance by the Warriors. So that would bring up a, a Warriors corner kick. Let's see if they can't get one uh, a good cross across the middle and put a head on it and see if they can't get one in the net. 26.40 to go. It'll be a corner kick opportunity now for West Campus. 
The kick is towards the net, and nice kick shot by Curtsy. Looked like a teammate deflected it towards the net and out of, out of the zone and quickly picked up by Red Bank. Nice play by Albert now as he takes the ball away on a good tackle, but kicked ahead by Red Bank. But we have a whistle, and it will be West Campus's ball deep in uh, Red Bank's territory. <clears throat> Albert looked like he lost his uh, one of his... Uh, Shin pads there as he <laughs> fixes it. And Francisco Reyes, the midfielder, the captain now, will take the free kick. Off the kick, uh, off his uh, free kick, it's uh, knocked away there by Riverbank out the midfield. Garcia trying to head it back into the zone. He does it nicely, but Riverbank has too many players as they will kick it ahead in their alignment there, and now Garcia heads it out of bounds, so Riverbank will inbound the ball. Tied at one, Riverbank Bruins and the West Campus Warriors. The goal scorers are Khalil Curtsy for West Campus and Jonathan Rodriguez for Riverbank. As Riverbank now on the far side of the field and knocking it away and being a little too aggressive was uh, number three there for for West Campus. This has been a real nail biter so far. They're keeping it real close. Uh, only two goals scored combined between both schools. So Off the quick inbounds, broken up by Garcia. It's still ball loose. Now West Campus sends it out of the zone. Lopez has it, tries to kick it back in, and that ball will go out of bounds, and it will maintain possession now. It will go, or actually, possession now will go to West Campus. We have a substitution for West Campus. Uh, number 11, Josh Sanchez coming onto the pitch. So a uh, couple substitutions. Trying to get maybe some fresh legs in there to make something happen here as uh, this has been uh, just a, a defensive battle on both sides of the ball. And we want everybody to stay tuned here for on, on uh, Play on Sports. For We have two more soccer games coming here from Stockton, California as the ball comes in. Off the free kick by the goalkeeper. And now West Campus has it. Here they go ahead and broken up there nicely by Riverbank into the into their offensive zone. And now a little too aggressive was Hernandez as he was all over Curtsy. Now they call it on Curtsy. I don't even get that. <laughs> what did he do to get that? He, an elbow high maybe. Yeah, I have no idea what that call <laughs> is about right there. It definitely looked like uh, the guy from the Riverbank uh, pretty much jumped on Curtsy's back there. Nevertheless, Bruins have control, but broken up nicely by the Warriors' defense. They're definitely keeping the ball in the offensive zone a lot here in the second half, and that, to, that has to be to their advantage. As Curtsy now throws an inbounds pass, broken up there by number five, Pantoya again. And that will give us a free kick here on the near side. Felix Delgado will get it. Towards the middle of the, the crease and broken up there by Riverbank West Campus trying to gain control. Now they try to get it out ahead and that's broken up by the Warriors. Now on the far side, let's see if Riverbank can gain control offensively. Trying to get it ahead, but broken up there nicely by Navarro. And the ball will be inbound quick, uh, quickly by the Bruins. 22-18 to go. And off the inbounds, ball goes off of a Riverbank player, so possession goes back to West Campus. So I'm not uh, familiar with uh, high school soccer, but uh, if this ends regular, oh, we're going to have to get a break here. Here we go ahead now. Hambling trying to get around the keeper. He does. The keeper ran into him, and we're going to get another whistle. The referee saw it, and let's see if this is going to be, uh, could be possibly a penalty kick again. And he's saying a free kick outside the offensive zone. That has to be a penalty kick. The, the keeper came out, and if you're going to tell me that was inadvertent, 
Uh, you're going to really have to sell me hard on that because that wasn't inadvertent at all. That was strategically planned by the keeper, Ramirez. Someone is getting issued a yellow card, but uh, there's too many people in the area. I think it's the keeper. It is going to be the keeper getting a yellow card. So that's uh, Roman, uh, oh, sorry, excuse me, Rafael Ramirez, the keeper for, uh, for uh, Riverbank, who's going to have to take a seat as he received a, a booking. And now I don't even know who comes in, the, the, the goalkeeper for them. Looks like they're putting a player in, trying to get the number. Number five. Martin Pantoya. So Pantoya now will move from the defensive position and play the keeper as he's wearing a yellow uh, a yellow sleeve indicating that he's a goalkeeper now. It, it has number seven on it. And still talk between the West Campus Warriors and the official if this is going to be a penalty kick or a free kick outside the offensive zone. Well, back to what I was saying before uh, he got that nice breakaway. I don't quite know the rules here in high school soccer. Uh, if the regular play ends in a tie, do they go to a golden goal or uh, what do they do? Yeah, they go to a golden goal. Uh, and it, then it, since this is a championship game, it can't end in a tie, correct? Right. And so then they would go to penalty kicks if uh, nobody scores on the goal. It goes in the one, one overtime period, and then, and then it goes to, uh, as you said, penalty kicks after that. Okay. If there is still tied after the period. Here comes a free kick opportunity. Pantoja saves it, but Kersey now trying to kick it over, and they're going to get a corner kick. The West Campus Warriors, Pantoja, made a nice play. The, the, the play on, on Hamblin's free kick, but then Kersey tried to get it in front of him and tried to kick it over his shoulder, and he ran into him. So they're going to get the free kick on the far side. Yeah, some of these West or Campus... The corner kick, excuse me. Some of these West Campus players are definitely starting to <laughs> be a little frustrated with these referees here. Uh, if I'm a referee in a green jersey, I might watch out come the end of this game. Uh, <laughs> uh, anybody from West Campus, if, if they lose this game, uh, they could get a little bit angry, it seems like. Uh, definitely frustration starting to mount here with uh, only one goal scored. We're going to have a substitution for West Campus uh, coming onto the pitch is uh, number 15, uh, Jesse Rodriguez. And I see uh, Serato, Robert Serato is coming in now to, to be the goalkeeper for Riverbank as uh, they make the substitutions. Trying to get his gloves on, number one. So a lot of changes going on here. With all these changes, I think it, it's a it's a free kick by uh, by Riverbank in, out of their yeah in their uh, right out of their. The so that's uh, 18 minutes to go here in the uh, the regular time of this uh, Division Five. So two more exciting games to go after this. It's off that free kick. Vela is trying to get around. A defender cannot. Now gets a kick to head. Here comes the shot, wow. and it goes over the net on the header. Beautiful shot by Armando Rodriguez, who came in. Or, excuse me, Josh Sanchez for West Campus for the goal. Yeah, he, he came out of nowhere, got around the defense nicely. Yeah, that was very nice. He put a header right over the goalie's uh, outstretched hands to uh, put West Campus Warriors up 2-1 to one here late in the, uh, the, the ball game. Uh, that he, Josh Sanchez had just came onto the pitch for a, a substitution not even a couple minutes beforehand. So good substitution by West Campus, which led to the header over the goalie's outstretched hands to put them up 2-1 to one here late in the game. So that clock is still going to continuously move, and uh, West Campus is now leading, uh, hoping they can keep them at, at bay and take home the, the sectional championship. We are going to have a substitution for West Campus. Coming into the game is going to be number seven, Kevin Go Go Goins. Uh, I can't tell you guys if it's Goins or Goins, as I covered a game uh, previously from uh, Vacaville. We had a player who with the exact same spelling who pronounced it Goins. So if it is pronounced Goins, I, I apologize, Kevin. 
nonetheless, uh, Kevin Goins or Goings coming onto the field for the Warriors. Yeah, and off of that, he makes a gets himself involved quickly as he took down an, uh, uh, a Riverbank player. So they'll get a free kick right at the midfield mark. They trail by one now. The Bruins trying to get it ahead as Garcia now heads it ahead. And here they go now. Quickly coming ahead is West Campus with the ball. Alberts now heads it towards the middle of the field and kicked ahead there by Francisco Reyes. So right now, West Camp is really feeling the charge offensively, and they're controlling the field now defensively as well, as I think uh, number 25, Felix Garcia, has done a nice job defensively. And he'll take the free kick here as he kicks it ahead. Riverbank trying to get it back in the offensive zone. Cannot. Goins has it now, gets around a defender, but taken away nicely by Lopez, trying to get it up ahead. He does to Estrada now. Estrada trying to get around a player he cannot. He cannot get, get, get around a Warrior player, and we get the whistle. Yeah, I'm seeing the coaches here on the sideline for West Campus trying to tell their kids to calm down, to keep it easy. They are leading in this game. They just have to hold out here for the next 15 minutes, so uh, trying to keep their... Uh, Keep their adrenaline pumping and uh, keep their heads focused. Off the kick now, straight ahead, goes up now into the Warriors' offensive zone and broken up there nicely by Ruben Lopez. So the West Campus Warriors lead it 2-1. to one. Their goal scorers, Khalil Kurtzky, or Kurtzy, excuse me, and Josh Sanchez. Off the inbounds now, middle of the field. Warriors trying to get it, trying to head it out of the riverbank. Kept in there by... Ooh. by the uh, Warriors and a good shot on net that just tried to hit, clip that far post, could not get it there. Nice shot there by F Felipe Delgado. Eric Hernandez now with the free kick for Riverbank. He sends it towards the middle of the field. Ball kicked around and put back in, in the offensive zone by West. Campus as they try to get it ahead. Cannot. As Riverbank now trying to get it towards the net, but broken up there by Garcia as he lets the ball go out of bounds. Free kick for the Warriors. And it will be Felix Garcia with the free kick. So definitely a, a way different tempo game as in the first game that we covered. As I said before, there was eight goals scored between both teams in the first game and uh, only three goals scored here in the second. So a little bit of change of pace here if you had been tuning in all day here in Stockton, California from uh, Lincoln High School. Trying to get it ahead now. There goes the kick in by Riverbank. Trying to get on the far side. Hamlin coming back for Westchester. Uh, West Campus now getting it ahead and broken up there by Riverbank. Trying to get it towards the middle of the field. Broken up there by the Warriors' defense. Albert sends it, trying to get it ahead. The Goins cannot. He now has it again. Trying to get around a defender he can. He has a man advantage. Trying to get it out in front. He does. Coming in with the kick. And right off the front post was the shot by Jesse Rodriguez for West Campus. He had the defender beat and he even had the goalkeeper beat. Just missed it, hit that post. Yeah, it was a very nice through pass there by uh, Albert. He passed it in very nicely. He found uh, Rodriguez uh, streaking down the sideline and just happened to uh, Rodriguez just made a little bit wide shot there as he had a nice shot on goal. But still uh, keeping the pressure up are the Warriors here even uh, ahead this in this game by one. So trying to keep that momentum flowing and uh, the pressure mounted on the opposing team under 12 and a half to go here as Riverbank now feeling a little pressure trying to get that tying goal as Lopez now will inbound it for the Bruins gets it towards uh, Jonathan Rodriguez nice backhanded pass but it'll be picked up by the Warriors as Curti and Rodriguez now collide into one another and we're gonna have a whistle at the midfield mark look like Rodriguez might have gotten an inverted knee in the uh, stomach there Actually, that was Fernando Reyes, 17, who got the uh, the hit. Bruins now getting ahead on the far side. Kick towards the net, and it will be wide. 
as uh, West Campus will regain possession of the of the ball here with 11 and a half to go in the game, and they lead it by one. So we are going to see a couple substitution here as uh, Kevin Goins comes off and uh, number nine Fernando Navarra comes on, and uh, number 20 coming on, who we still don't <laughs> have a name for, but uh, number 15 coming off. Uh, Jesse Rodriguez, so a couple of sub substitutions for West Campus. Here is number 20, who is the mystery man. And he takes a good shot towards the net, broken up there by the Bruins. Picked up there by uh, Curtsy over to Albert, broken up there by Reyes. Ball is loose, and Riverbank trying to gain possession as Albert makes a nice tackle, gets a ball ahead, but Serrato with the save. Yeah, I like, uh, I like the way Albert's playing. He's in there. He's scrapping it out. He's only 5'6", and a freshman is Albert, but uh, he's out there proving that he is a, a weapon. Nonetheless, is making solid tackles. and He looks like he's about 10 years old. Yeah, he's definitely uh, <laughs> he's as a, a young man. I mean, as a freshman, he's probably only 14, 13 years right. old. So uh, he's definitely young out there, but uh, proving that he's worth it. Oh, yeah. yeah he's, he's been one of the outstanding players for the uh, West Campus Warriors all game long. As Ramon Hernandez now will give up the free kick opportunity. They're going to let DeAndre Hamblin now take it, the captain. Yeah, looking here at the roster, uh, Albert is the only freshman on the team, on a team uh, primarily of seniors. So obviously the kid has to be pretty good to uh, make varsity his first year in the high school level. So he's, uh, he's definitely a name to watch out for if you do follow West Campus Soccer as he will be there for the next three years. Warriors off the inbounds. Curtsy now trying to challenge the goalkeeper as he comes far out of his crease now and gets it and throws it nicely out on the far side now as Riverbank trying to get a little offense going. They need to. We're under 10 minutes to go in this one. And they got to get a goal to tie it. But Garcia right there, head to the head. And here comes another offensive opportunity for the Warriors. Trying to get around that defender is the... Is the forward number 20, cannot get it. Serrato tries to get out of the crease. The kick by 20 will be just short of the net as it hits that post on the, on the, on his, on the far side. Man, I, I'm really upset that I don't have number 20's name as he's making a couple solid plays since being out there. Uh, we apologize, uh, 20, for not knowing your name, but you're playing solid since being uh, called in. Almost had a goal there as the goalie made a nice slide to... Uh, interrupt that that attempt and uh he turned around and still put another shot on goal so good play by number 20 for west campus and again uh we apologize for not having your name up here ball turnover by riverbank so west campus will have possession again and deandre hamblin the senior now pretty much taking over all big uh, big kicks here to get it back in the offensive zone as he makes a nice kick on the near side of the field now broken up by riverbank they're trying to get it ahead cannot as Sanchez has it, who has the go-ahead goal. He sends it on the far side to Hamlin. He gives a nice given goal right there with it towards the inner right inside as it's broken up by Riverbank. Uh, that shot attempt was by Felipe Delgado. Riverbank trying to get an offensive uh, start here, trying to at least get in the offensive zone. Cannot, broken up by Sanchez. He has curtsy, but sends it ahead to number 20. He's going to try to kick it around Serrano, but it's going to be broken up by Hernandez, who kicks it out to the far corner as he saved the goal. Nice play there by the senior captain. Yeah, that was definitely a good play by Hernandez, as that was definitely going to be another goal had he not been there. Uh, nonetheless, he makes a good defensive play and keeps it only a one-goal lead for the Warriors. So uh, these Bruins uh, may be down with little time left here to go, but they are definitely not out. They are just trying to stick in this and trying to tie this ball game up and take it into uh, uh, extra time. Albert now with the inbounds, broken up by Riverbank as they are now coming towards the seven-minute mark, trailing by a goal. Serrato with a high kick to the middle of the field. Broken up by the Warriors and trying to get it ahead. And Sanchez battling right there with number 15, Estrada. And Estrada gains control. Lopez now for the uh, Bruins will inbound it ahead. And Vulez, who was, who was active in the first half, has been really quiet here by the, by the Warriors' defense. Trying to get at the ball. 
And uh, Albert once again kicks it out to the far side of the field to break it up. Here comes Riverbank again offensively. Kick towards the net. Broken up there by the big man, Felix Garcia, number 25. As we're going to get a corner kick for Riverbank. Yeah, you're starting to sense the desperation for Riverbank here with only six minutes to go in this game. So we got four minutes until the referee switches it into penalty time. So uh, starting to get a little bit of desperation from Riverbank. Ooh. Corner kick by Rodriguez, headed by Hernandez, but they're going to say he was offside. And uh, now Roman Hernandez and Hamlin now have a quick talk before he takes the free kick as we're at the 556 mark of the game. West Campus leading it 2-1. to one. Kick ahead now into the offensive zone. Trying to get around is a West Campus player, and it gets knocked away there by Reyes. Micaiah Albert now has the ball, and we're going to get a substitution as number 15 comes back in the game, and that is Jesse Rodriguez. And that's uh, that's Albert, Micaiah Albert, who is going to uh, come out and take a seat. That freshman has been playing great the entire game, and he gets a big handshake and a pat on the head from his coach. So good play by the freshman, Micaiah Albert. Yeah, he had some positive minutes, no doubt about that. As the inbound pass is broken up by Riverbank, so we're going to get another one here. The Warriors, DeAndre Hamblin now. Going to throw it towards the crease, and it's broken up. Picked up there by Sanchez and uh, or Delgado, and now gets a shot, uh, attempted uh, break, uh, break kick, got blocked by Delgado, picked up by Serrato, who kicks it ahead. And here come the Bruins trying to get it ahead. Cannot, broken up there by Rodriguez. And now the Bruins have it, trying to get it to Vulez, but cannot have it. Broken up, and Hamlin now kicks it out to the near side. As Lopez trying to get around, Curtsy cannot. Here comes the big, the big man coming, trying to get around. One more defender cannot. As a nice tackle there by Eric Hernandez, the captain, senior captain, or excuse me, junior captain, knocked it out of bounds with 4:10 to go. Yeah, Curtsy's definitely got some speed on him. Uh, he gets around the defender and he turns it on. Uh, good, pr pretty solid ball control too for such a speedster. So uh, definitely good ball control, and uh, he's definitely a weapon for the Warriors. DeAndre Hamlin now inbounds it and it goes off of a Bruins player back to him. He's going to try to kick it towards the net and it's picked up by Robert Serrato, the goalkeeper for Riverbank. Looking ahead and he kicks it high on the far side of the field. Bounces. Nobody has possession. Now Riverbank does. They're trying to get it towards the middle. Broken up there by the Warriors and trying to get it out ahead. Here comes Sanchez who got the go-ahead goal. He kicks it towards Curtsy, now trying to get around a, a defender to gain possession, then puts it on net, and then he hits the back of the crossbar of the uh, goal post behind the keeper's net. So uh, about three minutes to go here in this game. Uh, you can start to feel the Warriors uh, feel like they're about to take home the championship, too. They just uh, start, they're just throwing a couple balls towards the net, just trying to keep the ball on the opposing side of the field to uh, take home this championship back to Sacramento. Yeah, off of uh, trying to move it upfield, the uh, West Campus knocks it out of bounds, so it'll be inbounds by Lopez. Trying to get it ahead now to Estrada. Estrada trying to put it towards the middle of the field. Curtsy has it now. Back to Sanchez. Sanchez looking for somebody to pass it. Now goes around two defenders. And gets the ball kicked back into the offensive zone by Riverbank. Hamlin now trying to get it on the far side. Gets taken down. And we're going to get a whistle. 2.20 to go at the two-minute mark. It becomes extra time. And we're just a few seconds away from that. Hamlin now going to kick it ahead for West Campus as they're just putting it towards the net. Here comes 20, and he gets it around Serrato, but there was a whistle before the shot as he was offside. Yeah, he was uh, way offside. <laughs> he was probably about two to three body lengths uh, offsides <laughs> on that one. Uh, he wanted to go hang out with his buddy in the goal box there, and uh, they, uh, they called a penalty on that. And they're telling him that uh, he's going to have to wait for the ball if he wants to go talk to the goalie. 
Kevin Goins now coming back into the game. As he replaces, I believe, the mystery man in front of us. Number 20. So we are into extra time here in uh, Lincoln High School with the uh, the Riverbank Bruins trailing the West Campus Warriors 1-2 to two here in the uh, Division 2, or Division 5, sorry, uh, championships. Nice free kick in the middle of the field. The Riverbank trying to gain possession, cannot. West Campus kicks it high and out of bounds. Not exactly what you wanted to do. You wanted to keep it in the middle of the field. But nevertheless, the Bruins have control of the ball. And they send it towards the middle now, trying to get around two defenders. Nice play there by Garcia. Broken up there by number 23, Reyes. Reyes now kicks it to Sanchez on the near side. Trying to get it towards the middle of the field. He does the Hamlin. Trying to kick it around. Serrato cannot. They get tied up with one another. And let's see what we're going to get. We're going to get a penalty kick or are we just going to get, we're going to get nothing. We're going to get a free kick opportunity by Riverbank. As uh, they kick it now towards the middle of the field. Knocked around at the 50 yard line. Now kick the head going. Now ahead on the advantage trying to kick it over the keeper. And he does in the net for the goal. And that will do it. West Campus win uh, leads Three to one, but that is Riverbank's back because now it's a two-goal game in extra time. Yeah, that was a very nice play by Goings. Uh, he just happened to chip that one right over the goalie. Didn't quite know if it was going to fall in, and then little, little did I know it fell right into the goalie or right into the net. So excellent play by the Warriors as uh, the Warriors, uh, he got a couple of his buddies and jumped into his arms. Uh, He's a strong little kid out there. He had yeah. two guys, one in each arm. He looked like he was holding them <laughs> like children. But uh, nonetheless, everybody's happy. He's got a big smile on his face. It's almost like he expected to score that game-winning goal. Uh, at, well, I, I'd say the game ceiling. Yeah, goal. that's what I, I got ahead of myself. It, it was definitely gave him a two-goal advantage and, and nicely done as a senior. 6'2 in height, and as you said, it looks like he's about as strong as anybody you'll see on a on any type of court or field. Yeah, we just uh, we just had Albert Serrano, uh, or uh, excuse me, Alberto Serrano, come into the game for West Campus. So a couple of the seniors uh, getting placed out onto the field to uh, get their last feels of this game uh, and their last uh, last game in a, a West Campus Warrior uniform. And they're going to be champions, it looks like, as Riverbank now trying to get it ahead in the offensive zone, but kicked out towards the midfield. Bruins now trying to get it ahead, but challenging ever so slightly is uh, is the Warriors now as they try to get it ahead, and we're going to get a whistle, and we're going to get a yellow card on a West Campus Warrior, and that will be number one, and that will be Sergio Afaro, I think one of the seniors that came onto the field, and for his time on the field, he got a nice yellow card, so he gets in the scorebook as well. <laughs> yeah, he just uh, ran out there, had a full head of steam as he was uh, probably going to see his last bit of playing time. So got a, got a little bit ahead of himself, received a booking, and that'll probably do it for his season. But uh, here checking in or waiting to check in is number 17, Nolan D, as we don't have a last name for him, but I do have a last initial. Uh -oh. Justin Ho stole the ball now coming on the far side, kicks it towards the near and just misses the net for uh, a goal. But good shot there by Ho. So, yeah, looking to check in is Nolan D, number 17, uh, who is a senior as well. So uh, the coach clearing out his bench, it looks like. Yeah, Coach Rubio is starting to get uh, get all his seniors in there and get them some playing time as uh, this very well could be their last uh, game played in organized soccer. Off the free kick now, Riverbank towards the middle of the field. Broken up there by the Warriors as the ball comes loose. And trying to get a kick ahead is Nolan D. And it went out of bounds. Here comes Riverbank trying to get back somehow, some way into this game as they're down two goals. Ball sent out towards the middle of the field. As the Bruins now will kick it and kick it far wide of the net and out of bounds. So it'll be a free kick for the Warriors. And with this win, now we'll end their season at 22-2. That's a truly tremendous season. 
for the West Campus Warriors and the Riverbank Bruins will end on a sour note, 18-3 and 2 on the season. But this one will be a tough one to lose as a, they ultimately are down 3 to 1 here in just a matter of moments they will be uh, the loser in this tough contest. Off the free kick, West Campus trying to get at it, cannot. The ball goes out of bounds and it'll be back to the Bruins, I believe. Got a couple more substitutions here. Uh, I, I have a 21, Elias De, De Leon, who is a junior. And then I, I have another kid who's wearing number six, but I did just see him switch jerseys with somebody. So <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to tell you what his name is because I have no idea as they are switching jerseys on us up here. But uh, like I said, Coach Rubio just trying to clear his bench, get if uh, any kid as much playing time as possible as uh, this is going to – gonna come down to it about it's about over here uh been in the penalty for a, a while here so it's all up to the referee to call it i think he hand motioned towards the re uh to one of the coaches on uh, what on uh west campus had is about a minute remaining or so off the free kick and the ball gets played in front of the riverback net and trying to get it back outside of the bruins offensively and from behind justin ho hits number 20 kenny villas the senior forward for Riverbank, so it will be a free kick opportunity for the Bruins. They trail 3-1 to one now off the free kick, and Garcia lets it go through to his goalkeeper, Ramon, uh, Ramon Hernandez, as he free kicks it, and it's a beautiful one down the near side. Goes, or, goes around a couple of players, and that will... No, oh, I thought it was going to be the whistle, but it, the ball, he said, went out of bounds. So it will be Riverbank's ball at about the 35-yard line uh, on the football field. That's where the free kick will take place, and he does towards the middle of the field. Loose ball, and that will be the whistle, and that will do it. West Campus Warriors are your Division Five San Joaquin champions. They won it with two goals in the second half, 3-1. to one. We'll take a few moments and then come back with our play on sports post game show to recap this division five championship game but it is a final the west campus warriors have won it they defeat the riverbank warriors through the one we'll be right back right after this one match away from immortality this is a total team effort Three sixteen left to go in this ball game. High formation, third and three from the forty-five of the Wolverines. And this time, holy cow! Dion almost hands it to the Westview player. He's going to run this. Back here on the Play on Sports post game show here from Lincoln High School in Stockton, California. Wrapping up here to Division 5 San Joaquin Section Championship Soccer Match. Men's champion this year will be the West Campus Warriors. They won it 3-1. to one. The goal scorer is for the Warriors. It was Josh Sanchez with, uh, with one. Khalil Curti had a goal. And then the decisive one was number 7, Kevin Goins, for the Warriors. And on the other end, the Bruins' their long gold was their top goal scorer, Jonathan Rodriguez, scored it in the first half and uh jason patterson quickly wrap up this um, this win for the west campus warriors and what it means to the to the school uh it means a lot for their school as uh they they're not normally a, a high participant in most sports as they are a freshly new school uh just being separated from their mother school hiram johnson main campus uh also in sacramento california so they've been their own high school for about I think uh, five to six years now, so still freshly new school in the area. Uh, taking home a championship for in the soccer is uh, is definitely a good accomplishment. Uh, defensive battle throughout the entire game. We only had uh, two goals scored in the first half and then two goals scored in the second half. Unfortunately for the Riverbank Bruins, both goals scored in the second half were from the Warriors, uh, which is going to take them to the championships. Uh, so congratulations to the to the. 
West Campus Warriors, uh, your Section 5 or Division 5 Sac Joaquin Section Soccer Champions. I also want to give a hats off to the Riverbank Bruins, who finishes this year 18-3-2. Uh, and two. So definitely a solid year from them. Uh, unfortunately, they were unable to travel out here to Stockton and take home a championship. But, uh, again, uh, congratulations to the Hiram Johnson uh, Warriors. Yeah, and I really thought when you get a one and a, and a two seed playing for the championship, it's fitting that the way this game ended, tight defensive battle, the top two goal scorers get, get, on, the, get on the sheet, and then it came down, as you said, at the end. Timely offensive opportunities by, by West Campus, and they deserve the win. Yeah, most definitely. All right, that will do it. Stay tuned. Uh, coming up shortly in a few minutes will be our will be our uh, Division Three championships, Central Valley versus River Valley. That will start at approximately 2, a little bit after that, and we hope you will stay with us all day here from Lincoln High. For... Jason Patterson, I'm Thomas Conroy. Thanks again. Again, the final from Division Five Championships. West Campus Warriors defeat the Riverbank Bruins three to one.